we, at the preschool, we have two classrooms, right? Um, they would be serving 80 students, I guess 40 in each, in each one, similar to the one we have in, in Dangriga. Um, you go, you'll see we have the bathrooms at the side and we have the principal's office at the side, the same, the same uh, architecture like the, the one in Dangriga. Um, and the facilities for our little children, I, 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 am, I wish they were here they, because that's the highlight, you know, when we, when we open these schools, it's so wonderful to see the beautiful little children who will be, uh, who are going to be benefiting from these facilities. The, the building, the building, the investment has been made considering who we are serving, and that's very important, um, serving our young children. Investing in preschool education is a critical foundation for the success of our children moving forward. But the, the, the science has taught us that investing in kids at this age yields benefits because they perform better, they do better when they're in primary, they do better when they're in high school, and they certainly are able to be better citizens when they go out there into the real world. So we're pleased to do that. I want to acknowledge and recognize that this investment started in the previous administration. At the high school, there'd be eight classrooms. Uh, the cla that high school is an investment of about $5.4 million, as I've been informed, right? Along with this, along with the road. Okay, thank you. So, of course, we, 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 we must recognize that um, a road was also needed to access this area, and that was an investment that went in there, too. So, um, we have one staff room, we have two electrical rooms, four storage rooms, and two janitor rooms. It'll have a capacity for 280 students. Bathrooms, there'll be four bathrooms, for, for uh, male and females, two female and two male teacher bathrooms. As you see, they, they are fully fenced, right, and um, have wheelchair access. Again, recognizing that uh, special needs students, special needs families who will be uh, attending um, the, the school have been considered. So that is an idea of what we're looking and what we're having this pleasure of of starting with today.